So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges and Eververse. And if we have enough time, we'll look at the season pass. If not, we'll make a separate video for it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really excited for this because there's a lot to look at. So for the first thing, we're going to be looking at successful expedition, obtained plundered umbral energy from bonus chest and expedition. This one, obviously, you're going to be doing this. This is a new seasonal stuff, so I really shouldn't have to explain much on this one. The Antiquarian One return to the first or return the first relic to the helm. Also, defeat combatants on Europe. Defeating combatants with a fusion rifle will award bonus progress. This, I'm assuming, is part of the uh, story that we're going to be doing today, because that'd be pretty wild if we didn't get a relic this week. Although, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as for the fusion rifle kills, the new exotic is a fusion rifle, so just use a new fusion rifle. Uh, shaper one shape three unique seasonal weapons this one's not going to be too hard it might be time consuming if you're trying to do the new ones so if you want to kill this one really fast then i suggest just make old ones that you've already had so like last seasons or the season before that i think that would be fine or should actually count hopefully uh, complete catch crash activities and activate cannons aboard the deck of your catch this one's pretty cool. It's part of this one right here, if I remember correctly, uh, or actually this one, maybe either or this one's going to be part of the catch catch, which is the new activity or at least one of them. Uh, just play the play. It. Like, that's it. <laughs> I can't really explain too much. All you have to do is complete the catch crash and activate cannons, which I really don't need to explain. Uh, taking all challenges, complete weekly ch uh, playlist challenges, just complete three of these and it's done or actually weekly playlist okay so these are actually specifically uh these right here so right here these three crucible gambit and vanguard are the going to be the ones that you're going to want to complete if you don't want to play gambit or crucible you just want to do it through vanguard then you're gonna that's gonna be three weeks so unless you really hate these two then just do three weeks of vanguard and that should actually complete it but if you don't then just do these three and you should complete it like fairly simple it is fairly simple is what i meant uh judging of victory complete gambit matches earn bonus progress for wins so again uh the taking all challenges is gonna link up with these because judging of victory uh flourish power and the fallen uh fall these three are all playlist stuff so you're gonna get this one once you're done with these uh long range calibration calibrate long range weapons pulse rifles bows trace rifles and your on europa bonus progress in lost sectors this one's not too hard do it on in lost sectors because it's just that much easy easier and i would probably double up so put a pulse rifle with a trace rifle or if you want to be really really extra you can put a pulse rifle for your main weapon a trace rifle for your secondary and leviathan's breath for the bow so that way you can just anything you kill with the weapons it's gonna do progress towards it europa activities on europa earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and law and lost sectors so obviously these two are gonna pair well together uh i would probably tell you just to do just to keep doing the lost sectors over and over because they are pretty generous with the progress at least they usually are uh but if you do want you can do patrols public events if they're up um i would just focus on lost sectors uh, flourish of power defeat guardians and mayhem playlists with super abilities not too hard this one a lot of the mayhem playlist goes by really really fast and it's, it to me it's a lot of fun and with the new arc stuff it's going to be a lot more fun as well because people are going to be doing the wildest shit you can be expected to see a lot of arc and then the fallen fall defeat fallen combatants in vanguard playlist or strikes earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants so this one's going to be annoying depending on which nightfall it is. If it's a nightfall that's fallen thing, it's not going to be too hard. You can just put go up there and just do it. But if it's not a fallen themed one, actually, I don't know. I'm, let's just check it out. Let's see. Um, so we, I can just tell you outright. So it is Glassway, which the I think the beginning of that is pure fallen. And then at the end, it is actually Vex. So this one can be pretty simple to do it. I would probably recommend like going to legend and then just killing a bunch of stuff or just go through the area because this is in the beginning of the, let me, let me just show you. This is the beginning. It, it begins over here, like right here, actually. So you can, you can just wander the Asterian abyss and just kill stuff or go to the concealed void and just kill stuff there as well, because you'll get progress as there as well. So 
Actually, you could probably triple dip. Um, hold on, let me see. So what you could probably do is, while you're trying to complete the Fallen Fall, because obviously you're, uh, defeating tougher combatants is going to help, if you're doing this on a Nightfall, it automatically turns it into a Legend or a Master Knight or a Master Lost Hector. So that means you'll be able to complete Europa activities and long range calibration. So you could probably just triple dip these right here. And if this is, and if you do the Vanguard last, then you're actually doing even more because then you'll be doing, uh, you're, you'll be completing taking all challenges. So I know this one was a long one, but I just wanted to explain a few things. As for the Eververse store, we have a new shader, Raven Silk. I actually haven't seen this shader. Um, it has a white glow, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment. I'm not too sure if I like the colors or not, but again, I'll reserve my judgment. I'll try to see it with some better armor, but we also have four squad display and unchained. I don't even know what this is. Oh, do you like crack it? Okay. Whatever. Then we have corporate sponsorship for the sweet business, which looks cool. It's the die, I don't remember what it's saying. Uh, Velo some monster, I blah, that thing, this, which looks pretty cool. Then we have the Synch Synchrotron Accelerator, which, ooh, that's cool. And it has the wolf logo that I like. The red line shell, which, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> we have Fencing Salute. And then uh, Ninja Vanish, which I definitely am thinking about getting. For shaders, we have Cursed Azure, which is new this season, which looks kind of boring but again i'm gonna reserve my judgment and actually pair it with a shade or with an armor set that shaders a little bit better uh, we have trinity which is not my not a not a shader i will ever use most likely because the green's not to my liking but damn it looks good on the weapon uh smudge pop bruise which is a i actually like the shader i would recommend the shader if, to be quite honest it's a really good black and blue uh just be aware that if th this is the one that has like uh, bungee insignia stuff on it so if i if i remember correctly and then bloody tooth bloody tooth is a really good black and red shader if you don't have it i highly suggest it just because it's a really good black and red shader and in some situations it just turns the whole thing black which is really good so as for what we getting this season we're getting the so we're we don't have our armor apparently which is a huge fucking bummer Although this armor looks really cool, like I'm definitely excited for it because the chest piece for sure gives off uh, Vex feels. Like the whole set, really, you can fuck with, fucking do Vex stuff with it, and I'm definitely excited for it. Hopefully, we get this armor in the Eververse store, which I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, we have ships, more ships, new Guardian pack. What is this? Floss dance. <laughs> Oh no, I might actually pick it up because I don't have it anymore. I used to have it in my uh, my PS4 account. You have uh, the Unfamiliar Brine bundle, which... Why does this remind me of like something with a brain? I forget what it... No, whatever. Uh, more ships, more... Sh what the fuck is that? That's a... Oh, that's a sparrow. That's weird. Well, what about this one then? That's a ship. That's weird. That's pretty cool. Uh, more ships. Damn, there's a lot of ships in here. And then we get to the Rolling Thunder, which is a hunter finisher. We get Hull Hunt, which is the sixth coyote ornament. Finally, it gets an ornament and it looks so cool. You're definitely going to want to pair this with like Viking themed stuff if we ever get that. But yeah, we'll see. I definitely am going to pick this up when it comes to Eververse or Bright Dust. We have the Assassin's Cal with Gilded Memento, which looks wild as fuck. Definitely excited for this. And then Vest of Orpheus, which is... It's unfortunate that you can't buy these with, with Bright Dust because I would like to. And then a bunch of other ornaments, which looks pretty cool. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, that looks so cool. Yeah, a lot of these are really cool. That looks so cool. Uh, what is... Oh, pseudoscience. Okay. Thunderlord. Oh shit, it looks like oh that's fucking metal. I might pick this up. Hopefully it gets sold by it. Damn, there's a lot of stuff. You get another toaster stuff. Um this one looks really cool as well. I think this one looks pretty cool too. 
Oh, man. As for the Titans, the Knightly Noir Titan armor set looks pretty cool. Definitely excited for the helmet and the chest piece. Definitely usable. The arms are really cool as well. I think the whole set actually looks really cool. I think the only thing that kind of looks boring as fuck is the, is the mark, actually. Like, it's kind of basic. But I think that's okay because you could definitely use it like this. If I change the color to it to like what this is, I think it'll look good as well. So Titan Def, y'all have a really strong set in the helmet, especially the helmet. Dog. The helmet looks so good, but everything else does look good. And I'm really excited to pick this up as well uh, for the armor or the exotic stuff. We have a wild Saint 14 ornament. This is from if I remember it correctly, this is from the uh, the season of not season of dawn, season of the splicer cutscene where uh, they uh, Mithrax was explaining to Saint Fourteen that this is how they saw him, <laughs> and this looks great. I'm, I want to pick it up. Uh, we have a uh, Kaiden's Ramparts ornament, which I looks. I personally think it looks kind of whatever. It's like I'm not really too excited for it, so I might actually just skip this one. Although if it, everything shaders, then I might actually pick it up. And then a Doomfang plate, which again, I I really hate that we can't pick pick these up for for uh, Bright Dust because they look really cool, but I just can't put myself to buy these for six bucks. If it was five, maybe because then I would have I would actually just be able to spend five bucks. But the way that they market their stuff is it's actually it would, I would have to put ten dollars actually. And then last but not least, but Warlocks. Honestly, I think personally Warlocks got the best armor set. Like the Kitsune uh, hood looks really, really fucking good. The cloak itself looks super fucking good. Ch the boots look super good. Everything looks really good. So good on you, Bungie, for making this look really good. As for the stuff, we have... That looks terrifying. What is this? controversial holds okay they look really good they're probably gonna shade her really well uh geomags is getting another ornament and it looks fucking good i'm picking these up for sure and then robes of nezarak <gasps> that looks so good unfortunate man so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below my only gripe with the whole eververse thing is that we didn't get a arc inspired armor set now i could see this being like the fortnite deal went faster than they thought so they pushed the arc armor to the next season maybe or they just never planned to make an arc armor which quite frankly is a little annoying <laughs> because every season we got something new for this for the subclasses and not getting another uh subclass inspired armor is very annoying so that's really annoying. Let's see the season pass real quick. And we're not gonna go through every little minute thing, but we're gonna go through like the big things like the shaders and whatnot. So obviously the exotic is Delicate Tomb. This one fires a wide range, horizontal, horizontal really, spread when shot from the hip. Final blows with this weapon have a chance to generate ionic traces. Ooh, powerful foes and opposing guardians always generate ionic traces. Yo, wild. Collecting an ionic trace overcharges this weapon's next shot, jolting targets on hit. Fuck. Okay. Wild. Okay. For the shader, we have Dusted Tome, which doesn't look terrible. This actually looks pretty cool. Hopefully, it. Hopefully, with armor sets that, I, I gotta change the armor set to really judge the shader. But it looks good so far. We have uh, transmit effect. That will be treasure. It's pretty good. We have more maps cool so <laughs> i absolutely love why is this three? Oh no that's this is the uh that's the uh whatchamacallit uh volt shot reloading this weapon after defeating a target overcharges its weapon for a short period of time causing it to jolt on its next hit interesting so bucca's jolly boat this is pretty good let me see rusted coin that looks pretty cool i like the color of the the armor plates we'll see we have what was that nothing shape nothing shards 
What is this? Castaway's shell. Why do you look so menacing though, bro? It looks pretty cool. Uh, LMG. Damn, this looks fucking fierce, bro. Okay. We... So the armor, I will be reviewing the armor soon, hopefully. I really want to get all the armor because a lot of it looks really cool. I'm not going to go through the Starfarer stuff because honestly, I just kind of want to do that when everything's available. But yeah, not nothing too crazy here. We get, a we get a skin for this, which is basically a shader. The pirate treasure. It's fucking Telesto, bro. <laughs> so yeah let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for season of the plunder let me know uh the lightfall videos should be going up either today or tomorrow i'm still not sure i'm gonna be playing a bunch this week because friday is the raid which i am planning to run it with my clan and i do plan to put some uh some of the videos up for that so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming to this point and i will see you all later